welcome back to Rocky Mountain Prepper. Today we are going to be talking about mixed emulsion. Now, mixed emulsion is a process in which you use an alkaline solution to loosen the pericarb of a grain, usually corn or as most of the world calls it, maize. That makes it easier for your body to get at the endosperm and the germ. It also imparts calcium and a few other necessary minerals into your diet. Without this process, you will get what's called pellagra if you're mainly eating corn, if that's your staple food. Um, uh, pellagra is basically, it's a disease that you get uh, dermatitis, dementia, and diarrhea, uh, along with, with reddened, scaly, crusty, and infected skin. It is a severe vitamin deficiency. It is easily solved by mixed emulsion. The Aztecs used burnt seashells in water called slate lime, which is also used to make concrete. Uh, they used that in order to break it down, break down the uh, the pericarb in the United States uh, along the East Coast they used wood ash because nowadays it is harder to get a large supply of seashells to burn and it, the slate lime is very dangerous to make I might show you in a different video but for now we're gonna focus on the wood ash method which was used by the uh, East Coast Native Americans, and that is what would have been taught to the pilgrims by Squanto. All right, so we know what we're going to be doing with the wood ash. Let's go up to the kitchen, and we'll begin the process. Okay, I have about two cups of hardwood ash. I used my charcoal grill. We're sifting it to make sure that all most of the charcoal is out of it. This is the same a similar procedure to when you are making your lye for Soap. All right. The ratio is for every one cup of wood ash, you have need one cup of corn. I have two cups of each. And now we are going to fill with cool water and bring it to a boil. I'll show you about how much water when I get it filled. All right. If you want to add enough water to cover by a few inches, and then Turn it on high, and you're gonna. We're gonna be boiling it for several hours, and always use a non-reactive tool in order to stir. We will probably be needing to add more water later because this does get very dry because we are cooking off. Alright, we are boiling it. 
in order to slow the evaporation rate, we lit it up. I'll bring you back in a minute when it's boiling. Okay. Okay, it's starting to boil now, and you can see the color is starting to get more vibrant in the kernels. It's going to have to boil for a while, at least three hours before it's fully cooked, and we can start the process of rinsing and removing the hull, the paracarbs. See? It's got a good boil going. Okay, I am going to turn it down a bit so we don't lose as much water. And put the lid back on and I'll bring it back when it's time to do the when it uh, when it's getting close so I can show you what it looks like when it's ready. Okay. It's been going for almost two hours. Yeah. And you can see that it's almost there. Trying to get it so see, see it comes off. It's not cooked through, but here's the paracarb. It's all nice and soft, and this inside you can see the uh, endosperm and all that. It's almost ready. Just maybe another half hour at most. Okay. It's been boiling for just over two and a half hours, and the corn is ready. So now we rinse with lots and lots of cold water, but you can see the color has changed and the pericarb is trying to come off on most of it. So, it's relatively safe now. You're not going to, you're only going to get heat burns right now. You're not going to have any problems from the uh, alkaline solution. Just rinse it really well at this point and kind of rub them together and you'll get all the paracarb or skins off of them. It's okay if you have some left on there. It's not going to hurt anything. You're still going to get all the good nutrients out of everything here. But you want to make sure it's completely rinsed out. Otherwise, it'll throw off the flavor at this point. You can tell that it was done because the corn was kind of bursting a little bit in the in the water. But that's how it's peeling off is what you're looking for. All of this has been completely changed. And this is now technically hominy. You can dry it and grind it up for grits, dry it, grind it up to make tortillas later, or you can dry it now, or grind it now to make tortillas, or you could even take it and, since it's been processed, you can even fry it to make your own corn nuts.
this is a great thing to have when you're uh, when society goes away because if you don't have modern agriculture or ways of resupply this will give you a lot of grain and food per acre. That's how the Aztecs and the Mayans conquered most of the Central American land. In fact, it's what kept the native peoples in the in the north fed through hard winters when the the game animals had all fled. Just a light rubbing and you're getting all the hair carbs off, but I'm not worried about those. Because that will all be just fine when it's ground. I am going to use a mortar and pestle to grind a few, to grind a little bit, so that we can do some tortillas real quick. And I am going to use a little bit of salt for flavor. Just grind up. You could also use a food processor or a grain mill. Those would work wonderfully. But I don't feel like getting my grain mill down and cleaning it up. It's all dusty right now. I need to work on it later. Now you see how it's mashing pretty well. It won't be as fine as the store-bought masa flour, but it's okay. All right, I'll come. I'll bring it back when this is ready for us to show you the. Okay. I've got a bunch ground up. I did end up using my grinder. I'm not going to show you that in this one. And it's just a matter of getting it while this is heating up. I'm going to get these uh, this tortilla pressed out. You want to try to get it thin. Now, if you were to dry this and grind it, instead of just grinding it wet like I just did, you could actually make a much tastier, better version of the of um, cornbread. I did add salt to the water when I was initially boiling, and I did add a little bit of salt when I was grinding it, just so that well, without salt, it the stuff doesn't taste good. Salt makes things taste better. And you just heat them up, uh, cook them until they're lightly golden on both sides. And you've got a very nutritious bread type product.
and since the corn is already cooked, you're more or less just giving it a little bit of texture. Because honestly, you can't eat it straight without even grinding it. But it's... Because uh, that's actual hominy if you don't grind it and you just eat it straight. So see. It has... It tastes just like a tortilla, like a factory tortilla, but it has more of a whole grain texture to it. I kind of actually like it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching, and God bless.